In this video, we will be making some curry meatballs. Have you ever heard of curry meatballs? Have you ever had curry meatballs? I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys. Wagwan, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell before you go so you don't miss out on any of these amazing and delicious recipes. So we will be making curry meatballs like I said. Now this is my very first time making curry meatballs and having them. So I was super excited about this recipe. So for this recipe, I will be using ground turkey. However, you can use ground beef if you prefer. I normally use ground turkey whenever I'm making anything of that sort instead of beef because, you know, it's the healthier of the two. So it's definitely up to you. You could also use ground chicken if you like. And this is a pound of ground turkey and it made me roughly, I want to say... 15 meatballs here i have a mix of seasonings i have around two teaspoons of curry powder a teaspoon of ground turmeric two teaspoons of garlic powder two teaspoons of onion powder two teaspoons of black pepper and a whole pack of sazon of course you know that's my favorite seasoning two teaspoons of italian seasoning two teaspoons of crushed white pepper flakes and a teaspoon of salt mix that all in to make sure the seasonings are well combined and then we're just going to dump that in to our meat then we're going to go ahead and mix really well well i allowed this to marinate for around 40 minutes in my refrigerator covered but you can go ahead and cook this right away or allow it to marinate even longer if you like so once I took it out the fridge, I went ahead and I added two tablespoons of Italian breadcrumbs followed by an egg and of course we're going to mix that all in together. Now you can put your meatballs in the oven if you like, however I will be searing mine in a little bit of oil on the stovetop of course because I'm going to go ahead and add some curry powder to my pot before I add my meatballs and this is very important to me I have to burn my curry a little bit whenever I'm making anything curry <laughs> I think it releases the flavor a little bit and you know it's just a tradition you can skip this step if you like but trust me you will not regret it so go ahead and make your meatballs to your desired size I think I used a around a tablespoon and a half of meat to make my meatballs. So I have around two tablespoons of vegetable oil, very hot in my skillet, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sear my meatballs. You wanna make sure that you flip it on all sides to ensure that all sides are browned. And guys, be sure not to overcrowd your pot. You wanna leave just a little bit of space between each meatball so it doesn't start steaming. So if you have to do two batches, Go ahead and do so so as you guys can see i just dropped a couple sprigs of thyme into my skillet and this is just gonna add some additional flavor to our meatballs once our meatballs are beautifully seared we're gonna remove them and set them to the side then i'm gonna go in with a small red onion chopped and i'm just gonna saute that for around three minutes until it becomes translucent once I've done that, I'm going to go in with around two teaspoons of curry and we're just going to mix that in and allow the curry to do its thing. Now this is my favorite part when I'm making curry, just that fragrant smell that it releases. Ooh, this kitchen is smelling so good guys, I wish you could smell this right now. So after around three minutes of cooking, I'm going to go in with a cup of chicken stock. You could use beef stock instead or even some water. I'm gonna allow this to cook for around eight minutes and then I'm just gonna go in with some more seasoning or sauce has to be flavorful right guys so I went in with a teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of garlic powder a pinch of salt make sure you're tasting so you know how well to adjust your seasonings and I'm just gonna allow this to simmer for around five more minutes before adding my meatballs to it 
I don't want my meatballs to be overcooked because it's turkey and you know I don't want it to get too dried out however if you're using beef you can go ahead and add your meatballs as soon as possible to your sauce and get it cooking because you know beef takes a little bit longer to cook than turkey so once I've added my meatballs I'm just gonna baste 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 it in the sauce you want to make sure that every single bit of your meat is covered in that sauce Go ahead and lower your flame just a little bit, cover your pot and allow it to do its thing. I allowed it to cook in the sauce for around 8 minutes and then I started basting some more. And if the consistency of your sauce isn't as thick as you want it to be, you can go ahead and add some cornstarch slurry to that or flour and water mixture to that just to thicken it up a little bit. But once you cover and allow it to cook together with your meatballs, your sauce should get just a little bit thicker. So in total, I cooked my turkey meatballs for around 20 minutes and I served mine with some white rice. This would also go well with some buttery mashed potatoes. This was absolutely delicious. One of the best meatballs recipes I have ever made, I have to say. And I'm so happy with the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this recipe. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell. Come join the Jamin family. Also, this full recipe will be uploaded to the website in just a couple days. I will leave the link down below. Go ahead and check that out, guys. Please subscribe to our newsletter so you don't miss out on free recipes that i will be posting to my website i really do appreciate you guys so much you guys were all good stay safe until next time